Hey there, how's it going? Charles Rivera here. And today I'm going to show you how you add an HTML5 video player onto your site. Now in a previous video I talked about how Adobe is no longer supporting Flash for mobile devices because there's a big compatibility issue. Um, I, I guess they're not working very, very well on cell phones and iPads and things like that, but HTML5 is just dominating. You know, YouTube obviously, I switched over to HTML5 and everywhere you look all over the internet, more and more people are using HTML5. So it's probably a good idea to eventually switch there if you haven't done so already. Now, the, this entire video is actually very detailed. I just got done shooting this for my newsletter and it stretched out pretty long, close to 20 minutes. There's a lot of information involved in this and I'm not going to go that far in depth with this video. Um, I, YouTube videos generally don't run real long, so I don't want to go too long and just totally lose your attention. So I'm going to show you a condensed version. Hoping I don't lose you here, but in case I do, you are always welcome to go to my site, uh, beginnersblueprintvideos.com, and you can um, sign up for my, my newsletter that way, and you can get the full information from there, plus you can get a whole lot of other cool videos too. A little plug for my site there. Um, or you can go to my fan page at facebook.com forward slash build an online business where as well you, as you get more information there and you get um, you get the chance to sign up for my newsletter and also how to build a website video course there too okay so let's stop plugging the stuff and let's go right into how to do this okay now we're at videojs.com this is an open source video player it's free to use and it's really nice looking I just love this video player now there is a WordPress plugin for adding this code to your site. This is a much easier route to go, but unfortunately it will not work on my blog. I don't know why. It might be my theme is interacting with this. Maybe another plugin I have on my blog site is messing with this plugin. I really don't know, but it's not working. So I had to do this the manual route. So go ahead and try this out. Maybe it will work for you. If it does, great. You don't have to go through this whole manual code install. If it doesn't work, then I'll show you how to do it the little more hard way. Okay, so first of all, go ahead and download this HTML5 player. Okay, it's downloaded. I'm using a Mac, so my default download is right down here. Uh, again, I apologize if I move too fast through this. Like I said, I'm crunched for time here, so I'm kind of going through it quickly. This is our file that we just downloaded. It's a zip file, so double click on that file. And here is the folder that is inside of that file, video-js. So you need to know, if you don't know how to use an FTP program, like for instance, FileZilla, if you don't know how to upload your files from your computer onto your, um, onto your hosting account, onto the internet, that it is important you understand this part. If you don't know, again, my newsletter describe how to do that in one of the videos, um, or you can just check around the internet. You can find somebody who will tell you how to actually use um, FileZilla, which is a great one, or any kind of FTP program. So you do need to know how to upload this, this folder and also how to upload a video because you got to play the video, right? Okay, so I'm going to assume you already know how to do this stuff. Um, go ahead and upload this folder and upload your video that you want to play. Make sure you know exactly where you're putting this stuff at too. Okay, so back here again, um, after you have downloaded that folder, next we're going to scroll down to where it says getting started. Right below here is a link for adding videos, video JS to your page. If you click on that link, it will give you instructions for how to load this onto your site. Unfortunately, it's not detailed. It, you really don't know exactly how to add this and where to put it and how to configure everything, and it's just real complicated. Um, unless you know how to write code, then it's a breeze for you. I did not know how to write code, so it took me forever staring at this thing and trying to understand this. Now, you will need two pieces of code for this. You will need this code right here. Get that right there. So from this arrow to this arrow. Okay, that's the first code, and you'll also need this code. So those two pieces of code you will need for uploading to your site. Now we are uploading this to a blog, um, but you can also put this onto an individual page on your site. It's probably an easier route to go, I just don't know how to do that. So what I had to do for my website was put this on 
each individual page where I want the video to play at. Okay, so let's start with this code right here. Go back and highlight this code again. And let's copy that, that code right there. Let's go over to our blog. If you haven't logged in yet, please do so. Scroll down under the Appearance tab and click on Editor. Okay, over on the right-hand side, scroll down to the file that says header.php. Open that up. And I already have my code now. Let me delete that out real quick. This is what it will look like when you first get here. Maybe not identical because it's a different theme. All right, there we go. But it'll look similar to this. Okay, so what we're looking for is we need to add this code between the head tags. This is the opening head tag and this is the closing head tag. By the way, I'm not for sure if head tag is the correct terminology. Don't really know much about code words, so hoping that's right. And the way I tell these apart is by this forward slash. That's telling me that that's ending the code for the head tag. Okay, so just make sure you're adding this code directly after your opening head tag and you're good to go. Okay, let's go back to our theme and we're looking for the opening head tag. It's right here. Now you'll notice it looks a little bit different than what I just showed you. There's no closing arrow. There's an opening arrow here, but there's no arrow here. And that's because the arrow is down here. So this is the entire opening head tag. So we need to add that code directly after the opening head tag right there. So let's paste that code. All right, so this is the code that we just added. Let's go back and get the second code. Highlight that, we'll copy, go back to our blog, and we're gonna add this code directly after the one we just put in. So let's paste that. Okay, so now we have part one and part two of the code in there. Now the next thing we need to do is reference this code to the folder that we downloaded. And we, we do that by changing out, um, let's see, the src equals and href equals. So those these two areas need to be changed. And what we're doing is we're telling this code where exactly this folder is. That's why I say it's important you know where you're putting this folder at on your hosting account. Okay, so I'll show you an example of where mine is located at, and this will give you an idea of how to put it on your site. Okay, make sure that's okay. That's right there. All right, everything looks good. This is the code right there. This is the entire code that the computer needs to reference video.js. Now video.js is a file that's inside of our folder that we just downloaded. We open that up right there, video.js. That's the file that's inside of our folder, okay? So we scoot this, let's scoot it down here. You can see video-js is right there. So this is our folder. Okay, so again, video.js is the file that we need, or yeah, the file we need, and that file is inside of the video-js folder, and that folder is inside of this folder. I just happen to call that one HTML video. That's just that's just the, the way I like to organize my videos. I put them into certain folders. Okay, so all this information is directly under my domain name. Okay, so now we're just gonna alter out this code right here. So we'll change that so it looks similar to this one. Okay, so both of our codes are now configured and uh, really, if you want to get technical, you don't even need this part. You can de delete that part out if you want to. I'll just leave it so you can get an idea what that looks like to actually access the entire full code. Okay, so now you're done. You are done with putting your code into 
your your file your header.php file so we'll update that and we'll go back to the videojs.com site scroll up to the very top and we're gonna add our video so click on this embed builder this will help you write the code for you now you have all these options you can choose and the website does tell you if you want to be completely compatible and make sure your videos always play no matter what on mobile devices on um, web browsers whatever it is then make sure you're using all these options uh, but we are going to deselect everything and I'm going to show you just using the mp4 video okay so now you need to type in where your video is located at and let's see if I can remember where my video is at hold on a second let me check that okay I just figure that where I put it at type that in here videos should have known that and then forward slash video.mp4 so the video the little test video I shot I called it video.mp4 and the way the computer is finding that is because it's going to charlesrivera.com forward slash videos which is a folder and then forward slash the actual video video.mp4 so that's pretty much it that's all you need to do the code automatically writes it for you as you type it in up here and um, we just select the code copy it let's go back to our blog and let's do a new post add new and we'll give it a test name and down in the body we're going to paste our code so that is our embed code that is our video right there so if we take a look at that we'll preview it should see our video and there oh it's a monster size I forgot to, to set the size okay right here make sure you change that to the size of your video forgot to do that let's just fix that real quick copy go back let's close that go back to our post there we go okay now we'll preview it once more there we go that's human size anyways there, I think it's still loading there we go it's loaded it up okay so if we click on it it should play there's our video okay so that's how you add an HTML5 video player to your site one of the important things I should mention is you have to format your video into an mp4 first time I did this and the fifth time and sixth time and so on and so on I always did it in a MOV format and I could not figure out why the video would not play it did not make any sense to me I happened to do a ton of research to figure this out and I found somebody that told me that you need to use mp4 so that's the universal platform to go with I'm pretty sure probably everybody uses mp4 but me I don't know what I'm thinking but um, yeah don't use MOV, MOV if you want to use an HTML5 video player make sure you're using mp4 alright so that's a kind of a quick overview like I said I, I give a more detailed instructions on how to do this in my video newsletter sorry I had to rush through stuff I feel really rushed myself by doing this and uh, if you have any questions you're welcome to email me or you can go to uh, my site charlesrivera.com I have my email address up there at the top or you can always go to my Facebook fan page at facebook.com forward slash build an online business ask your questions I'll be happy to help you out however I can all right well we'll see you next time take care